Nellie was helped by her boss to get into the university as a scholar. She was very grateful to her boss, so she promised to work hard in her studies. On their first day of school, she chose to take up business management because it had always been her dream. But sometimes, because dreaming is free, she really wanted to become a medical doctor or a lawyer. However, she couldn't afford the expenses, so she settled for business management. Inside Richmond University, she was dressed simply, wearing a long skirt with boots and a long sleeve shirt, with her hair tied up. She was excited to attend her first class. But before she could find her room for her first subject, she noticed a girl who seemed extremely shy. The girl kept her head down and didn't want to look up. Nellie approached her and asked, Hi, miss, is this also your room? With a smile. But the girl just nodded without lifting her head. Nellie felt sad, so she sat beside her and said, Wow, we're classmates. That's great, I'm Nellie. She smiled and extended her right hand to the girl who still didn't lift her head. She reached out her hand, but the girl still refused to look up. Jessica, but you can call me Jess, she replied. Wow, what a beautiful name. But why don't you want to look at me? I'm not scary, Nellie pretended to be upset. Slowly, the girl lifted her head. Nellie saw that she had thick eyebrows like Betty LaFea, but Nellie didn't mind. Maybe she just needed to shape her eyebrows a bit, Nellie thought to herself. See, you're beautiful. You know, Jess, faces like yours shouldn't be hidden. They should be shown, okay? Nellie said. Jess replied, Hey, hey, I'm not shy. I accept who I am, Nellie. The only problem is my crush is here. She answered while looking at some guys near their classroom door. Nellie frowned and looked at the guys from a distance. Ha ha, now I understand. Which one is he? Nellie asked. The one in the white polo shirt, he's quiet, Jess replied, blushing. Hey, hey, I see why, he's handsome. But it's better if we go inside now, we might be late. Let's go, Nellie invited, standing up. But before they could enter, they were blocked by one of Ness's crush's friends, while Jess just kept her head down, feeling like she was melting. It turns out, they were classmates since high school, and now they were classmates again in college. Jess, would you like to introduce me to your friend, Ryan, their rich and arrogant high school classmate asked. Jess lifted her head. Ah, Ryan, guys, this is Nellie, our classmate, Jess replied. Nellie raised an eyebrow and felt like Jess was just using her as a shield and blocking them. You know my name, can you please let us through? Jess replied irritably to the person in front of them. Jess, this girl is so rude. Can you please tell her who I am? He said, not stopping bothering Nellie. 